hi. I'm John Gillespie, and um, welcome to my documentary uh, about Hillhead. Uh, join me, if you will, uh, and come on a journey of discovery as as I show you what life is truly like at Hillhead Halls of Residence. So. Hillhead is the predominant housing facility for students at the University of Aberdeen, which is the third largest city in the country of Scotland. Scotland being part of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, which is a sovereign state and island country off the north western coast of mainland Europe, Europe being one of the world's traditional seven continents. But going off on a tangent here, this documentary is about Hillhead Halls of Residence and nothing else. Now here's a history of the University of Aberdeen. In 1495 AD, Aberdeen University was built single-handedly by the Bishop of Aberdeen, William Elphinstone Hall. For some reason, the university was called King's College and it grew up to be the third oldest university in the world. 100 years later, Elphinstone's arch-rival, the Earl of Marischal, founded an opposing university in the city centre of Aberdeen. At the end of the 19th century, vandals tore down the original Marischal College and built an even bigger one in the same location. This building, now known as Marischal College 2.0, is the second largest granite building on that entire street. Uninteresting fact, Marischal College was Adolf Hitler's favourite building in the UK and he frequently visited it in the summer months. In 1858, these two universities joined forces. Arts and divinity were taught at King's, while important subjects like law and medicine were taught at Marischal. Over the 20th century, teachers at Marischal got sick of their post and moved on to the King's campus. With no teaching going on, Marischal College became pretty much unused. The university court has governed the university's finances, staff, assets, buildings, facilities, kitchen utensils and wildlife for the past 140 years, but it is the dreaded senatus academicus that makes all decisions about academic and educational matters. The Students' Association has 14 student representatives on the Senate, but they have no kind of power whatsoever. The Grand Halls of Hillhead were erected in 2007 when the government became concerned about the growing number of homeless university students. Over the next year, Hillhead transformed from a humble shack to a bona fide student village, offering luxurious living conditions for all. Or so they would have you believe, but in this documentary we shall expose the true face of Hillhead. And what better place to start than in my home sweet home, Faith House. So what do you get in your room? Well, everything a student would need really. You've got a big old desk and a relatively comfortable chair and a bed which I personally find is a little bit too small. There's plenty of storage space and you've got a sink which doubles up as a urinal. I've got a window with a view and there's also plenty of artificial light. So you've got your ceiling light there but unfortunately mine's a little bit faulty as you can see. But, thankfully, we have a secondary light source, um, mm. <coughs> and to top it all off, you get free wireless internet, but unfortunately the connection's FUCKING SHIT! And we'll stock up on the essentials for student living, with the cheap instant noodles and hard liquor. Also, you'll see I've chosen to decorate my flat in the most stereotypically studenty way possible, with the giant Pulp Fiction poster and the pompous declarations that I drink alcohol and use bad language. Also note the Aberdeen University t-shirt, which I proudly wear because I'm a team player. In theory, the rooms are cleaned every two weeks, but I'm pretty sure uh, Hoover hasn't touched this carpet in several months. Um, uh, I'd also like to complain about the radiators, which independently vary from freezing cold to unbearably hot at random intervals. Um, and. Also, the curtains are fucking hideous. 
Uh, if you want to go wait in the corridor, I'll meet you in just a moment. I'm just going to get changed. So. The corridors in Faith are pretty unremarkable as they're just straight to the identical doors, but I shouldn't know that loud music and weird smells that haunt them 24 hours a day. The toilets are generally disgusting, usually overflowing with us nice shit and vomit. with his inadequacy. Wavell is the pretentious twat for the comically inflated opinion of himself who thinks he's above the other two houses when really he's just a cunt. And Adam Smith is the unbearable stupid idiot who nobody wants to associate with. Together they make up the most unlikable team of scallywags ever personified so I'll just stop this sorry episode right now. <laughs> 